Hey friend, this is Mai with Creative Vibes, and today I want to talk about some of the negatives of being a music therapist. I feel like when you're looking into a career in music therapy, a lot of what you see is the positive side, and, and of course there's, there's a lot of positives in this field, but we don't often see how hard it can be. So in order to be fully transparent, I feel like it's important to touch on some of my least favorite parts of being a music therapist. And I want to emphasize that I'm, I'm not making this video to discourage anybody from becoming a music therapist, but it is an expensive degree and long process to become licensed. So I think we should have all of the information before making that decision. So. Number one is feeling underappreciated and undervalued. And this is one of the things that is feels really frustrating for me is how much we have to constantly justify why our work is important. It feels like people respect, you know, physical therapists, occupational therapists, speech therapists far more than they respect us, and that can be really frustrating sometimes. You know, I can't tell you how often I've you know, reached out to assist the living centers. And these cost anywhere from like $5,000 to $10,000 a month per resident. And then t they tell me that they don't want to pay for my services because they can have music volunteers come in instead. <laughs> and I know you're not going to say that to a doctor. You're not going to say that to a therapist. And it shows a lack of understanding in the work that we do. And of course, we can always do the advocacy work. And I continue to do this every day. However, it would be really nice to just be able to exist and to have people understand and respect the education and work it takes to do the work we do. To me, it reflects a deeper societal problem of not valuing the arts and music and not understanding the importance of having non-essential ways of existing and expressing oneself. And I do believe that this is one the number one reason why so many music therapists eventually choose to pivot or change careers entirely. Becoming a music therapist is really expensive and sometimes your salary, once you're licensed, is not enough to justify the cost of the education. Sometimes, more often than not. <laughs> number two is going along with the underappreciated part is that we don't have any resources on how to self-advocate for ourselves within the workplace. Um, and I'm sure this is a problem with a lot of other fields, but I think it's a shame that there's no room in our education system to talk about how to advocate for yourself within the field or within the workplace. Uh, I think that a lot of music therapists tend to get taken advantage of in the workplace and we don't really have any knowledge about what that looks like or how to advocate for yourself in those situations. And of course, the, these are things that you can learn as you grow and as you work for longer periods of time, but there's a reason why our average salary is still lower than the median income of all US workers is because we are underappreciated and because we don't have the support or resources to advocate for ourselves in the way that we need to. And it can be a pretty lonely and exhausting road advocating for yourself constantly. And the last one, number three, the final thing that I don't love about this field is how we have a, we have a long way to go in terms of diversity and equity in this field. And it's, it's disappointing to the number of music therapists I do meet who are not on board with social justice or diversity or equity or inclusion. And these are people who then go and work with people who are harmed by the beliefs that they hold. And of course, you know, this is, this is an issue within the entire mental health field in general. And I know that change like this doesn't come quickly. However, I am very encouraged by the number of young music therapists who enter this field with a passion and a desire to make this field more inclusive and better than ever. I strongly believe that we need to make some radical changes in our education system before we see some big changes happening. Anyway, again, I'm not making this video to discourage you from becoming a music therapist. I, I believe in the work. I think that the work we do is really important. However, I do see a lot of young music therapists coming in who don't realize how hard it can be to be in this field 
myself included, and get burned out really quickly. We have to consider that it's not just about the work that we do, but also how about how we're compensated and how we're treated in our jobs. And right now, I would strongly encourage any young music therapist to also consider getting a degree in counseling or social work because that will definitely make you far more marketable and valuable in the workforce. And it's definitely hard to make a living with just a music therapy degree. And that's, that's just the reality of the workforce right now, you know? As for myself, I really enjoy private practice because I find that this is the best way to create a work environment that you enjoy, but the problem with that is that it'll also require you to learn business knowledge that you're not going to get in a music therapy degree. So those are my least favorite things about music therapy. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you have any questions. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks so much. See you next time.